our environment have come from spacecraft missions to the planets. By exploring other worlds, we safeguard this one. By itself, I think this fact more than justifies the money our species has spent in sending ships to other worlds. It is our fate to live during one of the most perilous and at the same time one of the most hopeful chapters in human history. Our science and our technology have posed us a profound question. Will we learn to use these tools with wisdom and foresight before it's too late? Will we see our species safely through this difficult passage so that our children and grandchildren will continue the great journey of discovery still deeper into the mysteries of the cosmos. That same rocket and nuclear and computer technology that sends our ships past the farthest known planet can also be used to destroy our global civilization. Exactly the same technology can be used for good and for evil. It is as if there were a God who said to us, I set before you two ways. You can use your technology to destroy yourselves or to carry you to the planets and the stars. It's up to you. Hey, Sarge, how do we know if these little people can understand this? I mean, do they even speak Buganese? Funny, Palicki. Now get out of here. Acknowledging this makes your awkwardness look small, but it also makes all of you look small. Tiny, a needle in a giant haystack, but nonetheless in possession of a big idea. Your blemishes are lost from far away, and so is your uniqueness, but the view from way up here, well, it's unbeatable. And as always, thanks for watching. I spent my whole life wondering about this moment. Would it be like? Would it look like? Would it feel like? And it's a little fuzzy, but I think I'm starting to get it. Your job is to tell stories that fly through the air in a series of pictures in rapid succession that magically appear in other Smallfoot's homes. TV, right. And what is this thing here? That's the roof of my home. Home? Home? Are we saying the same thing? Come on,